The Miz is doing God's work yet again. The Miz. Can anybody tell me why did the Miz need to turn hill? And guess what? I don't mind Miz being hill because he's a natural great hill, right? But I think at the point of his career right now, people respect him and re recognize he's a living legend. Miz has been here day in and day out. He's been consistent. So that's why nobody mind him and our truth But I don't mind a difference. I want to see a more serious our truth so, I get it. But at the same time, this one part I don't get. You're going to put Miz, surround the Miz with fucking losers in the Final Testament. The Final Testament got so much potential to actually be a top team. But they're far from, they're far from it. And then after the Y6 is done with them, I mean, how far can they be from a top team? They already are jokes. AOP loses all the time. And, and for the life of me, I can't figure out why, bro. But you got the Miz surrounding himself with these guys. Here we got the Miz. The A Miz, we need you to turn hill, bro. We need you to put some people over that we're trying our hard, hardest to get over. Right? It is not the fact that Karrion Cross is a jobber. Like, he has jobber qualities. He's being booked like a jobber. Karrion Cross has pretty much all the tools to be a top upper mid-car guy. He should be in the Intercontinental Championship picture. I mean, that's just like a no-brainer in my mind. He can talk. He has size. He has a good look. He has the group that does nothing. What does Paul... I just figured out Paul Ellering. I forgot that was the Legion of Doom manager, dude, right? But I've never even heard him speak, distract in a match, cheat, nothing. I, I don't, for the life of me, get, you're going to put Miz with these guys. Just like they do with the Miz every trip. We're going to put Brasserie with you when he first, when Brasserie shows up to make him interesting. We're going to put Tommaso Chopper with you when he shows up to make him interesting. We're going to put Dexter Lumis against you to make him interesting. The Miz is doing guys' work. Carry across the, the final testament has so much potential. And they're just being booked like fucking morons. The Y6 is about to put the nail in the coffin. But you got the Miz in the middle of all this. Because he got to make all these people that are not interested in being booked like shit feel like something. You gotta get him. It's amazing to me. When, honestly, the Miz should be in the world title picture. Not this shit. He should be in the world title picture. Him and Archer. They've been there forever. So why they can't just ascend to the top? They don't have to be world champ. Now you're saying that. Why they just not in the picture? It's like Triple H think winning and losing don't mean anything. You know who it don't mean anything for? For people that are already established. Seth Rollins. The Miz. Why do you think The Miz has one of the worst lose winning streaks, but does it fucking matter? He's already he's he's already certified. You see what I mean? But Kerry Cross is not. So why is they losing all the time? And you want to put the Miz around them because you gotta make them interesting. Yet Kerry Cross can already talk. You see how none of this makes any sense? But you got to relegate the Miz down to downgrade because he got to make all these people feel great. The Y6 included. He got to make all these people's feet feel important. Because who else better know how to do it? Hell, he made Dexter Lumis in signing for a minute. So who else know how to do it? Miz. But he got to be relegated to this bullshit instead of the world title picture. Did he have some good matches with Gunther? Why he can't fight Gunther now? But regardless, at the end of the day, sum this up, the Miz deserves better. The Miz should be in the world title picture, whether he's winning the world title or not. Winning and losing don't mean nothing to him because he's already a star. But Karrion Cross and his group, they lose all the time. And Miz has to be a loser like them now just to make them feel great? 
No, it's backwards, bro. When you've been there, you pass a veteran status, you should be at least getting the proper respect to being a top guy. This is a top guy. Karen Cross is not, unfortunately. I think he got all the tools to do it. But, of course, in this new Triple H era, it's all about if you can cut a good promo and you got a cool look, you can lose all the all you want. Don't mean shit. That's bullshit. Winning and loss, losing means a lot. Especially if you're not established. Because speaking of somebody that's established, where a loss would mean anything to him is Seth Rollins. That's why Bronson Reed should definitely beat him. If Seth Rollins beat Bronson Reed, Bronson Reed is back where he was, stuck. He's he's not going to move up. This is a big few. This is a big opportunity for Bronson Reed. Pull the trigger. If you want to send somebody, that's somebody right there that beat Seth Rollins. He can move right to the Intercontinental Talent spot. Why are we just doing this one at a time shit? We need multiple people fighting for world titles and titles in general. And this should be one of them. Not the Intercontinental title. He dominated that. He's the one that kept that title relevant for many, many years. He don't have to win that. Another world title for Miz wouldn't fucking hurt. He deserves it, if you ask me. He's been doing God's work for I don't know how long with all these mediocre-ass people he got to put over, bro. And look where half of them went. Bronson Reed, he's like the only one left of the Miz experiment, of the Miz rub that actually is going somewhere. Because Dexter Lewis is in Y6, and it don't really look like they moved too high. They're not going for any tag titles. Why do Y6 wasn't in the tag tournament? They go against Final Testament, and it's just like, they about to bury to Final Testament completely. So I don't know. It's just, it's all dumb, man. But what do you guys think of this? The Miz deserves better. Give him his flowers. He's been great for too many years. Like, share, subscribe, and good shit we out.